I give the floor to representative of Sikh Human Rights Group. Vice uh, Mr. President, uh, in the Sikh Human Rights Group, we believe that all forms of material instability and precarity are inherently extreme. While poverty varies widely across countries, it is usually intertwined with social and cultural exclusion. In this situation, there are often informal institutions that are built among people who suffer from marginalization. Within excluded communities, we can find many examples of collective and consistent efforts that, based on reciprocity, can ensure a certain level of predictability, reducing the impact of dramatic events. For example, institutions such as rotating savings and credit associations are set up to overcome some aspects of social exclusion. To fight off poverty, we must acknowledge that poverty is not caused by the inaction of people suffering from socially disadvantaged conditions. In fact, poverty is caused by, by a, the lack of a consistent endeavor for national authorities to make excluded people the leading actor when designing social programs. In developing countries with a long-lasting history of social and ethnic exclusion, informal institutions and millenary practices are already in place. These practices and institutions must be contemplated in the design, design of social protection programs with the active participation of the target people. This is how we can ensure social dialogue and build confidence with populations who don't feel listened to in their home countries. This is also how we can design tailored programs that consider social and cultural particularities so these programs can effectively impede the reproduction of poverty. Failing to do this may reduce the marvelous goal of eradicating poverty to a bureaucratic work that perpetuates exclusion through other means. Thank you. I thank you.